Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm continuing to do work on this little Honda Dax that we put a life and engine in in one of the a previous video and we didn't really finish it up. We took it for a ride, but it's got some things that need to be finished. And one of the things that I want to do with it is put a chain guard on it. I didn't have one for this bike. Uh, a few years ago, you could buy these pre-painted ones on eBay for really pretty cheap. I want to say they were maybe 25 bucks or something like that, pre-painted in the K0 colors. And I bought multiples of each of the three K0 colors, and this is actually the last blue one I have, and they don't seem to be pre-painted available, uh, or at least for that price anymore. But anyway, I, I thought I'd do a video today. You just can't bolt this thing on here because of the curvature. The shape of the Lifen stator cover is different than the Honda uh, chain guard. So I've got to do a little bit of trimming. And with it being painted, I, I want to, I kind of got to be a little bit careful. I'm not left-handed, so this may, <laughs> this is going to get a little tricky. So I'm going to put a mark on it just like that. And what I'm going to use, I'll tell you what, let's get the camera reset up here so you can see it. I'm just going to use a flap wheel sanding I call them a flap wheel it's a you know a bunch of little folded over pieces of sandpaper on an angle grinder <clears throat> if I put that right in there is that where you guys can see it yeah you can kind of see it right there so I'm just going to slowly kind of work my way back to my line and actually take the line off. Sorry, I forgot to warn you about the noise. So that does a pretty decent job of taking it without really, you know, making the paint too, too noticeable, um, messing it up too bad. So let's bring you back over here. We can kind of see what's going on. need to go farther yet because we're actually going to need to if that mounts to the body like that this is really going to have to be pulled in and that's going to hit so we've got to take off some more you want to inch you know well not inch but creep up on this I think once we get to there we're good let me take a take a little bit more off of that
let's see where where we're at now. Okay, that's not bad. Let's put a uh, put a couple screws in it. Actually clearing there we might want to clearance that just a tiny bit more but we've got this point that we need to Mike the caps already off the pin we need to do something with sorry if I'm making noise here scooting chairs around Also going to need to take off quite a bit of this point right here. see anything. I'm not really move the camera back and forth, but let me knock this out a little bit. Yeah, I got long enough screws in it, don't I? <laughs> doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad at all uh, like I said I need to clearance I, I don't like this being quite this close right here right on where that corners at And I think if I go ahead and take it off where I've got some black markers still showing there, I think I'll be okay there. Give me just a second and I'll clean these up a little bit.
to hang on just a second. That looks decent, and I forgot to show you, but there is a threaded hole in the life and engine back here that's not being used that, that, uh, that we can put a bolt in for this bottom hole. Now, because this the Honda cover originally bolted using the uh, on top of the cover of the original Honda, we can't squeeze this all the way to the engine or we'll get into the chain. So I've cut a little spacer out of some 3 8 round tubing that that bolt can fit through. And I just guessed I cut it about 3 quarters of an inch long. I really don't know. Let's see, I need to loosen these up. get some because our hole doesn't look like it's lining up perfect hmm. I really need a little bit longer bolt Gotta tweak the chain guard just a little bit. There it goes. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I could probably clearance that a tad bit more, but there you go. So I'm pulled up against that. I've got gap between my chain and the guard. So I think I will pull it off camera, pull it back off one more time, and we will get a similar gap up here that I have down here to kind of get that to line up. So I'll need to take another eighth of an inch or something off of that. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, you know, some people say you can't put a factory chain guard on with a life and engine. You can, you just have to modify it. And, you know, I understand if you don't want to run a, an original chain guard. Um, but, you know, this was just a, a, an aftermarket one I bought off of eBay. And you can pick them up. They still have them on eBay. They're unpainted. I don't think you can buy the, the ones that are the color, but... Uh, Boy, that sure just makes the bike with the chain guard that makes it look so much better. So, all right, that's just the first of a few other fixes we will do on this bike and film them as we go. Guys, have a great day. Hit the subscribe, give me a comment and a like, and we will see you on the next video. Later. Oh, what the heck, I'll bring you back and show you. So that, that looks a lot better to me. I like that gap, kind of a uniform gap all the way around. And I didn't mention it, but these flap discs, these sanding discs, I buy them from a company called Benchmark Abrasives, uh, but you can also get them at any big box, you know, the store, Home Depot, Menards, uh, whatever you have, tractor stores, uh, Rural King, Tractor Supply, any hardware store has them, Harbor Freight. So they do a really good job of not heating it up so you don't bubble the paint or do anything like that. So. All right, now we're done. Guys, have a great day. Thanks.